again everybody this is some old man today I'm out in the garden but I'm not doing gardening I'm working on my radio antenna as I promised in the previous episode I was planning to go ahead and mount a mast to be able to have something a little higher to attach my uh, antenna corner point to so I'm going to start working on that today I received my mast in the mail yesterday and I've got all the parts that I need to go ahead and put it up. And I'm going to start with the mast mounting brackets. These are simple metal brackets that I'm going to set here on the fence. Obviously, it's not going to fit on one particular post. I'm going to have to bracket across a couple posts. And I'm going to be working right here so that I'm on this crossbar and here are the post. So I've actually got a fairly strong place to mount it. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Ah, nope, that's not gonna work. Too close to the edge. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Drill some holes. I'm done with the billet anyway. Very good. And I have, of course, the screws that go into this thing. Let's go ahead and hand tighten just to get it in position. And the same on this one. here someplace. Hopefully I can find it. But I've got the screwdriver bit, which is the part I need right now. Wherever possible, I want to use the electric to screwdriver instead of a manual screwdriver because it's just a lot of work for these heavy duty screws. Yeah, not the best bit in the world, but. back out here with a manual screwdriver to get the rest of it because unfortunately the bit that I chose out was uh, not the best for this type of work. See 
if I can just get the things at least in a little bit secure. And what I actually am going to do is once I get both of these in tight, I'll bring the mast out, which I've got to open up yet, mount it up here, and then there's another piece that actually fits over the top of it and clamps the clamps the pole, metal pole, into position and it'll clamp down and it'll hold it up and in so that it doesn't go anywhere. And I can see just looking up that I've still got to get in here with a saw and a ladder so I can reach it and clean up some more of the branches up there and I'll probably have to periodically do so because the stuff does grow somewhat. So let me just finish this up. screwdriver bit for this thing. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a flat one, so I'm making do with what I've got. I wonder if I could put this directly in. It's kind of short, but Can, that would be a lot better. Yes, there we go. Okay, one down, one to go. And that's that. The next thing is I need to get up there and trim trees. Well, I might be able to put the uh, pole up first. I don't want to have the actual antenna attached to it when I put it up. What I'll do is I'll disconnect this pulley and just tie it off to the, to the anchor in the fence. And I'll take this pulley attach it to the top of the mast with it, with the uh, with the rope to pull it up so that I'll just be lifting the rope up in the air and leave the pulley down and then when I have the pole into the mast into position and I've had a chance to trim off all the uh, the branches up there that I need to, to get rid of then I can actually pull the antenna up, watching to make sure that none of the uh, none of the branches along either leg of the antenna interfere. And if they do, then I have to reach up there with the pull saw and take care of it. But that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera right now and wait until I actually get out here with the with the antenna and let you watch how that goes. Some old man, on to the next thing. A little bit later in the afternoon, and I'm getting ready to put up the, the mast. As you can see, the mast is in a uh, roughly uh, two inch diameter uh, aluminum pole. It's a telescoping pole. It has three sections, so it'll go up the total height of about 25 feet. And right now it's all collapsed. I'm getting ready to go ahead and prune back some branches that I can see that are going to be in the way. So I'll get that done and then we'll go ahead and see if I can't hook up the antenna and raise the mast all in one go. So I'm on board.
don't think about these things ahead of time. Uh, I didn't think to untie the cord and I didn't even think to look at the cord before I started on this project to realize that the little section that I had holding the pulley up from right there ain't going to be long enough when it's 20 feet up in the air. So I'll be taking a break here as soon as I get this thing hooked up to go find some more uh, some more uh, cord that I can go ahead and uh, rig it up with. And that's just how it's going to be. Not a big deal. It's just I'm going to put this back so I can actually reach my project. This is not the best place to be putting a ladder either, but needs must. You'll, you'll see me putting duct tape up there on top of the uh, mast. That's because the uh, little plate that they've got up here for guy wires is not really where I want it to be. The restraining clamp Oh hell, they're really just making it hard on me. The, uh, the holes in it are just too small. So this big uh, hook here is not large enough, or it's too large to go through the little holes. So I need to go find a smaller one, which I've gotten plenty. I just have to grab the appropriate size. get there. I still have to pull down a whole bunch of branches, but I can't really tell which ones until I get the mast up. So we'll just go ahead, put this on when I get the appropriate piece, raise it up and see what needs to be knocked down. And this is before I actually hook the antenna up. We'll get the mast up and then we'll do the antenna. And I'm thinking... You know, maybe I just go ahead and uh, when I get the antenna up, leave it out like what it's doing right now so that it's about a foot out from the fence. That would avoid some of the worst of the, uh, the brush, at least on this side. Might have to do some additional trimming up next to my tree in the uh, garden, but that's something else. Let me go back right now and get the other piece I need. I get the uh, once I get the mast up. I know it seems like a long involved process and it is in a way but I just take it methodically and do it one step at a time and it'll be done in just a short while. Try this again, but I'm thinking ahead this time. Got my rope. I got my pocket knife here someplace so I can cut the darn thing after I get it to length. And I got a lighter to burn the end of this nylon, which is something you don't want to do because it will unravel if you don't. And nylon rope polypropylene, this kind of stuff, does have a limited life in the sunlight. It will deteriorate over a few years. Not as bad as PVC, but it will deteriorate. That's why I used black originally, but this is a thicker line so it'll last okay. Unfortunately, I didn't have another spool of the uh, of that particular cord, which would have been nice. Or at least I didn't have it where I could find it easily this one here I knew where it was. So let me go ahead and get this thread it through here if I can.
what I need to do is actually tie off the loose end so that I, as I extend the pole up, it will feed itself. Send it up. Yeah, I can see this is going to be interesting. took off of the pole is a big cotter pin that actually will hold the top section up once I get it extended. I got another 90 feet or so before that's ready to go. Whoops, there goes my cotter pin, so I gotta go pick that up before I can extend the section. Otherwise it'll just come back down. Yes, have I ever mentioned that I'm a bit of a klutz? I am. I know it. I admit it. But I've learned to live with it over the years. Full as I used to be. But that's okay. As you can see right now, the mass is held by the two brackets, top and bottom, but it goes all the way to the ground. That's unnecessary. I'm going to lift it up so that the bottom is right below the bottom bracket and then tighten these, uh, tighten the brackets down to hold it in that position. And that'll give me the maximum height that I can expect out of this thing. I could have ordered one that was much taller, but I didn't need that much height. I just wanted to get up a little bit more than what I was and hopefully it'll give me better reception and better transmission on my, uh, antenna. So I'm going to see if I can't just shut this on up and of course I step on the line and it's not going to work too well. Okay. Let me... Tighten this stuff down. Hopefully tightened enough so that it'll stay put. I almost wish I had to put the uh, nuts on the outside so I could reach them. It's just that's messy. I think that's going to hold it for now. goodness. Let me see why. Before I start pulling that uh, antenna up, I'm looking up in the sky and seeing if I put the antenna corner, the pulley, up at that height, what, uh, what branches are going to be likely in the way. I don't know that there's going to be any in this direction. This way though, I see I'm back out. The last uh, section of video kind of just cut off in the middle because the phone ran out of power. I shouldn't. I should have checked it somewhere in there before I started filming, but I didn't, so it all went dead in the middle. And I didn't notice it until after I'd finished the job. So I'd like to show you what I ended up with. So let me turn the camera around and show you. As you can see, the mast is, takes it way on up into the trees and you, right at the very top you can see the pulleys and I don't know if you can actually make out the, the wire running across. It's 
really thin and the camera may not pick it up but it runs out there to the front just like it did before I do need to go ahead and snug up that wire because the length of it isn't it's uh, needs to be a little shorter I've got maybe 10 feet of uh, nylon uh, paracord up there at the front that I can take up so I can make it tighter because right now it's a little uh, a little bit loose I do need to go ahead and uh, tie this uh, rope that holds the whole thing up a little bit better because right now it's just kind of looped on there I don't know if you can see the uh, wire coming down in the camera it's a little hard to see it's even higher than it was before so the next thing that I need to do is I still have some branches up here that I need to clear out up up right at the top they're really hard to reach today so I gave up on them finally I'm gonna have to see if I can't get back up there and do some more clearing but the next thing I need to do is go ahead and tune the radio and make sure that the thing is actually able to receive and transmit. I'll do that sometime over the weekend. If I do, I'll go ahead and record and attach it to this uh, video right at the end. This is some old man wanting to say hit the like button, subscribe, and tell your friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you later.